dating show. The dating game with a twist. Out of our three lovely contestants here, one of them is actually a man. Ooh. It's up to our contestant here to figure out which one. Hello, what's your name and where do you come from? Hi, I'm Jim and I'm from Dub London. <laughs> I'm Jim from London. What do you do in London, Jim? Well, I'm not a terrorist. Not in the IRA at all. No. I'm a labourer, you know, this and that, this, this and that. Oh, this and that, yeah, right. So I understand, Jim, you've got a question for our three lovely uh, people. Uh, so, what's your question, Jim? Well, my question is, the question I have for you is, what would your idea of a perfect first date be? Oh, brilliant question, Jim. Right, let's fire away with contestant number one. It's our Julie. Hi, Jim. I'm Julie. So, my perfect date would be a beginning at um, a luxury spa, then perhaps an exclusive restaurant. You know, I'd want you to pick me up at least in a Rolls or a Bentley's. You'd have to be wearing your best suit, of course. And if you want to impress me, you basically have to spend the money. Quick. Right, well, she sounds like a rat bitch to me, Jim. Don't make this decision just yet. Let's hear from contestant number two. Hello, my name's Mary. And I have been on the first day to a couple of pounds just under the little girl. Then off this little deal, after having a couple more pounds to get in the mood. Then back to the boozer, have a couple more pints, and then fight if you're lucky. And then, and only then, when the metal go back to your place and cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jim, just remember, one of our contestants might be a man, but don't make your decision just yet. Let's hear from contestant number three. I'm a little nervous. Um, my name's Jane. Uh, my idea of a perfect date would be a quiet walk through the park, maybe treat ourselves to ice cream too. <laughs> then uh, we would catch a film or something. Then maybe head back to mine where I cook this good organ yarn and dolphin wild potatoes. <laughs> and then not too tired, you could perhaps stay the night. <laughs> oh, well, she sounds pretty perfect to me, Jim. So, we've got contestant number one, Julie, contestant number two, Mary, and contestant number three, Jane. Who are you going to go for? Uh, well, they, they all sound great, um, but I do like the sound of number three's cooking, so I think I'll go for number three. It's number three! <laughs> 